So here we are taking some cuttings and planting them. So I have some, these aren't blueberries. These are actually the tea that I showed you in the other video, off-grid caffeine. Put that right there. And here are some raspberries. These are raspberry bushes right here. So I got cuttings. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transplant them into their own pots here. Um, it came with two, but I was able to get three, maybe possibly five. So these look viable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of root hormone so they take root and hopefully we can get five raspberry bushes out of the two that I ordered. So let's see what we can do. Now that we got everything in the pots, we'll put down a fresh layer of rabbit manure, rabbit pellets. This is gonna help supercharge them. And so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put a little bit of dirt over it to cover it and they'll be set. So we'll be watching them very closely to make sure that they are growing and that they're doing well before we ultimately transplant them into our next row of gardens. And just like that, we have transplanted all our cuttings into bigger containers. And now we're ready to add some water to them to get that new soil and rabbit manure supercharging these bad boys. There we go. Now this is gonna be the start really of an origin story because we're gonna take these and one day these are all gonna grow. And then we can take cuttings from these and these and make more tea plant trees because these are an excellent variety, very costly. So instead of buying new bushes all the time, we take cuttings, transplant and make our own. Same with our raspberries, same with our blueberries and blackberries. You know, we're gonna be able to not have to depend on infrastructure. So one plant can get you a whole orchard full of new plants, of new food, just from one. So there is time left. You just gotta be patient and be willing to put in the work. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow us on our little journey here, and as always, long live the Republic.